Hey everyone, today I have another EV charger review for you. This is the EV Dance Dual Voltage Level 1, Level 2 EV charger with adjustable current from 6 amps up to 16 amps. We're going to get it unboxed and take a look at it up close, then test it out with my Kia EV6. So we'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging here. It does come with a carrying case, which is good since it is a portable EV charger. We'll go ahead and take everything out. It does come with a manual. And there's the 120 volt adapter. Then we'll go ahead and take all this plastic off. Last piece. Ooh, that does look good. I like that gloss black finish a lot. On the back here, we have device specifications, LED status descriptions, and warnings. You can see the plug is a 240 volt NEMA 620 plug. So at 16 amps and 240 volts, you'd get about 3.8 kilowatts, which isn't bad at all. The plug is also sealed to the cable, which is good. Then we have the 120 volt NEMA 515 adapter, which just plugs in here. And then that just plugs into a normal outlet for 120 volts. Looking at the J1772 connector, it's made of plastic and looks fine. There's a dust cap, which is always nice, especially for a portable charger. The latching mechanism works fine and doesn't bend easily, which is good. The contacts inside the J1772 connector look good. And we can see the O-ring in there, which helps keep it sealed. But yeah, overall it looks fine. Now taking a look at the cables, we can see the specifications on the side here. It does have 14 gauge wire rated for 105 degrees Celsius. 14 gauge wire is typically rated for about 15 amps, so it would basically be maxing it out at 16 amps. So personally, I wouldn't go more than 12 amps. But let's go ahead and measure the cables. We are at 14.1 millimeters on the side that goes to the car. And the input cable from the outlet is at 13.2 millimeters. And both of those are decent for the low amperage we're pulling. But yeah, overall it looks decent and has a fairly long 25 foot cable. And again, that carrying case is nice to have. And like I said, I really like this gloss black finish here. But yeah, let's go ahead and test it out. First, we'll go ahead and plug in the NEMA 515 adapter for 120 volts. I don't have a 620 outlet at my house, but like I said, if you do have access to one, you can get up to 3.8 kilowatts. Then we'll plug in my heavy duty extension cord here. And there we go. It is powered on. This flickering you see here is only in the video and it's an effect of the camera refresh rate. It's not like that in real life. But you can see it's showing 124 volts and 12 amps. And I'll go ahead and hold this adjustment button here. And now I can go through the various amperage settings from six amps up to 12 amps. When it is plugged into 120 volts, it won't let you go higher than 12 amps, which is good. Some level one 120 volt EV chargers out there pull 16 amps, which is too high. You shouldn't go higher than 12 amps on a NEMA 515 circuit. But yeah, let's plug it into the car. Good connection there. And charging has started. And we're at 1.3 kilowatts, which is what I'd expect at 12 amps on a 120 volt circuit. 
Not super fast, but still gets you around four miles of range per hour. And it looks pretty good. Nice fit with the J1772 connector. The controller looks good. You can see it shows the kilowatts along with the amperage and the voltage. And this seems like a decent portable EV charging solution. I'm not going to test the charge port temperatures with it since it is such a low amperage and it is cold outside today. We likely would barely see a rise in temperature at the charge port, if any at all. Now I will say this unit is not UL or ETL listed, which is unfortunate because that's pretty important when it comes to EV chargers to show they have been tested to be safe. That said, it does have a fairly low price point, which is likely the reason. It's normally $180 on Amazon, which isn't bad for a dual voltage adjustable portable EV charger. For Cyber Monday though, they do have it on sale for only $145.99, which is a solid deal. Again, I wish it had a safety certification, but unfortunately that's going to be rare at such a low price point. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this EV Dance EV charger, and if you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. I have a lot coming, including a 40 amp portable EV charger from EV Dance, along with their 40 foot J1772 extension cable, which I can definitely see coming in handy in a variety of situations. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.